Welcome back to this episode of Dungeons, Dragons, and Space Shuttles. I don't actually know if that's a new episode or if the like last episode is going to get fused together with this one. But we now have coal. <laughs> uh, we, I let this thing run uh, during a building stream where we uh, did the other half of this house. And we were supposed to build the alpha sign, but then I ended up failing horribly. So let's put away all of this for now. And let's make a bunch of coal actually out of this. So since we... I, I, not refined storage, can't do that, Ty. Um, yeah, we've got a bunch now. Uh, we are going to get even more from this. So, I guess this is our new way of getting coal, pretty much. We're gonna have so many coal seats by the end of this anyway. Oh, we got so much coal seat, uh, coal now that it's gonna crash our ME for a bit. Um, and we just can continue throwing it to your end of flames. Uh, I just realized our Thing, thingamajig is full. Uh, I need more. I need more ingredients. <clears throat> Do we have any left? Any? Uh, that would be mana, diamond, pearl, and steel. And if those should put like a chest here where I can keep those here. Well, here we go. And while that is happening, we can just fuel our endo flames back again. Like this, like that, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna do something this episode, and something that I should have done like a while ago because I thought it would work, but now that I'm actually doing this, it didn't. <laughs> and that is, I'm gonna set up the gas burner today. Um, why do I set up the gas burner today? This is a good question. Um, because our our meme beans over there. The funny meme bean farm is not doing its job properly, so I'm just gonna have both running until I eventually have to move the meme bean somewhere else, and that would be, uh, hold on a second, that would be over here where this, oh, hold on, this exciting hole is starting to open up. Um, anyway. Uh, we need a bunch of stuff. We need our burner, which should be somewhere in here. Yeah, gas burner. Uh, we need a bunch of stuff, actually. We need this bad boy, the uh, um, electrolytic separator. We need an aqueous accumulator. We need a harvester. We need a whatever the thing is called, condensed unit. I forgot. And we do not have an Aquaeus. Nope, we do not. So we need to make one of these. Alright. One of these. That should be easy. We need a... Uh, I forgot what it's called. So I just... I'm just gonna look up uh, Ethylene. Ethylene, alright. And it's... Uh, not this. Uh, this. It's called a pressurized reaction chamber. We need one of those. And we need a crusher. Uh, I think we actually do have a crusher, right? Didn't we make a crusher forever ago? Hmm. Might be mistaken. But we are going to need a crusher. Uh, probably going to turn this into a crushing factory, as a matter of fact. And I think... Uh, is that all? I don't think that's actually all. Uh, because... Okay, let me get rid of all this stuff from a, a server that I don't need. Um, but we have... Ethylene, we need. I think that's actually all, right? It's the crusher, pressurized reaction chamber, electrolytic separator, ethylene into the gas burner. Yeah, okay. Uh, we need a bunch of flux ducts, a buffer, uh, which we actually have um, in the shape of our energy cell up there. Well, and yeah. Oh, I removed the aqueous accumulator. One sec. Go. Okay, let me just quickly make all of these machines. They're not really hard to make. They're pretty basic, actually. You can make these early on. So, let's do this. Anyway, but now we have all our machines, except for the harvester, actually. Uh, I still need to get the harvester. And before that, I need another one of these range add-ons, which we probably do not have, as expected. In which case, I will actually do something different now. Um, since we don't really use our induction smelt for anything, I'm gonna use the, uh, uh, do we have any more? Oh god, are these enough? I don't think these are enough. I was gonna basically 
put in the fluid duct here and have it lead over to this thing. So uh, the fluid input hatch here. Uh, there's actually some lava in here. Uh, I might have to get rid of this. So we don't really have to automatically fuel in the lava by hand. So I could just leave this machinery going. Uh, but we need more fluid ducts, as a matter of fact. Well, uh, time to make some more hardened fluid ducts, I suppose. Not with boosting mixture, please. Please. Uh, do we have an empty tank still? No. Uh, guess I'll just have to make another one really quick. There we go. Uh, there we go, empty tanks, let's make two, actually, put that there, get that there, it's compressed air, you barely see it in there, you just, I don't think even, it's there, but really it's not, I think, oh boy, yeah, yeah, you kinda can see it in there, alright, um, what was I supposed to do? Oh yeah, silicon. We probably still have silicon in here. If I remember correctly, yes we do. Silicon. Um, I said silicon. Goes in here. We need wood plates and invar. Do we have any of these? Invar. Well, we have invar, that's for sure. Uh, let's make six. Wood. There we go. Put in the wood first, since it goes so fast. Uh, the invar. Now, this is actually something I should have done like a long time ago because it's such a no-brainer move really Anyway, get this out of here get that in here now, Let's wait for this to finish uh, In the meantime, I can always already start like carving out something down here where our miner is so this is where it's gonna be Um uh, I'm not sure how big I actually need it to be. I should be doing this with the hammer. Hold on. Where is it? There you go. Hammer! Open salami. There you go. Uh, because we need a harvester down here, obviously, we're just gonna be harvesting candleberries. No, there's no real reason why these candleberries are just like candleberries. Because in vanilla ham um, sour stuff, they're pretty good. Really good. Because they can make candles and you can automate torches and you can save up coal with them. It's really cool. And if you could get like, you can also get like the breast wax from it. Uh, you can actually still get breast wax in here, but it's with the, uh, you actually have to use the breasts and the apiary, I think. You can't use candleberries for it anymore, which is kind of meh. But you know, now they just produce candleberries. So oh, what do we have here? Bunch of stuff. All right, let's get this sorted out. Eh. Eh. And having all of this stuff is kind of annoying. I need, I need something. All right, I, I, I need, I should need make like a wireless crafting table. I mean. It's not much RF calls and we already have like the infinity card, so what's the big deal really? Okay. I don't actually know if this is gonna work here or not. Probably is. Uh, we also need soil. A lot of soil. Uh, do we have any more soil? Uh, soil. We do have a little bit. Uh, let's go make some more, I suppose. We should automate this uh, getting soil. I think that would be a good idea. We okay, get that, and now uh, I think these should be done. Yeah. Okay. So I'm gonna route this here in a pretty ugly way. Actually, I think I'm not. Can, can I do this underground? Are there any cables that will disturb it? Uh, this is the reconstructor. Uh, actually, where is it even? I need to kind of like hit the ground again. Ah! Always hurts to break a bit of marble. I don't have any silk touch on me. <laughs> okay, that's mine over here. Then we should be hitting the flux duct anytime soon. There it is. Um, and it's 
Is it right underneath the... F oh my god, it's so stupid. Actually, no, never mind. This works. This checks out. So I can just hit this, and then it should be here. Or not. Here, right? Yeah, okay. Here it is. And you can see the meme beans. Alright, uh, put this there, put that there, here, and let's have this go over here. Uh, let me just actually hook it up on here, so I don't have to waste another, make another servo here really quick. Yeah. And, come on. There we go. Now it should fill out automatically. Nice. Good job, us. Uh, I'm gonna need some marble to fix up that hole really quick. Boop. All right, all right, all right. Things are looking good now. Um, and the reason why I made is because I need one more bronze block. I don't think we have any more bronze in here. Nope. Okay, now let's get some tin. Uh, four pieces of four pieces of tin. Uh, sixteen pieces of copper. I think. No, wait. It's twelve pieces of copper. Um. See, I can do math. Throw this in here. What should go? Eventually. There we go. And now you can see. Lava's always being kept up. Our RF being drained, as always. Yep. <laughs> we need a buffer here. Uh, that's the big issue right now. Oh, well, the other big issue is that this energy cell isn't full right now. So all, like, the flux ducts down there are not doing their job properly. Okay, are you done? Yeah, you're done. What's draining so super hard down there that isn't, like, working constantly? Like, it's not the miner, that's for sure. The miner's, like, only 500 RFT. Huh. Anyway, um... And that is the reason why I need this, because, frankly, our RF production isn't the best. It's good, it's, like, 500 RFT, but that was good for the beginning, or... An not good anymore, frankly. So we're gonna just crank those numbers up to 4K. It's like it's like the moment when you finally upgrade your PC, you know? It's like a complete overall. Oh, I don't think we actually have enough. Uh, I'm gonna boost this. Boost this, because they're annoying. And I'm gonna need so, so many Harvester. You don't, you don't even know. You do not even know how much I need. Um... So, Harvester also needs bronze. Do I still have a circuit, right? Like a big boy circuit? Yeah. Oh, not the big boy circuit. Like, it's medium big boy circuit. Not advanced circuit. Uh, and I need plastic, which I definitely have. Uh, do we have tri rubber? No. But we should have some in here, right? Nothing at all, okay. Uh, wood. 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 Do we not have, well, jungle wood? I guess we can quickly make it. Hold on. I, you can't. <laughs> this isn't refined storage, Ty. It's not this easy. Um, I, I keep trying to press U, but it doesn't actually work like that on refined. Uh, M E. Blah. Okay, get this here. Put that there. Yeah. Look at it go. Um, yeah, I just need two more. And then we're done here. Come on. Give me two. One. Come on, just hurry up. Hurry up already. Burp. Hurry up. There we go. Wait. Okay, for a second I thought we had still plastic in here. <laughs> Guess not. And there we go to plastic. Nice. So that in there. Uh, we still have like a class pane. We, sh we should, right? We, we, yeah, we should. And that should be it, right? And. And. Uh, oh, wait, yeah, of course. It doesn't take silicon, it's crystalline. Crystalline! Get in here. Where's the crystalline? There it is. There it is. Pop it in. There we go. Two. 
range add-ons just like that. I uh, only need one though right now. Um, we need bronze plates. Uh, you know what? You know this will allow Jamaica Harvester. I think I can just cut this out. There we go. Here's our harvester. And uh, let's get some more soil. Soil boil. Um, and set up the harvester down here. Uh, oh yeah, we need candle berries, of course. Our trusted candle berries. Uh, I don't think we have any candle berries, so I think we can just sieve out the seed, right? Do we not have a sieve in here? Or rather, do we not have a sieve at all? Probably uh, in there, maybe. Here, up oh, there we go. Knew we had one. Uh, and we need grass. Uh, so let's get some shears really quick. Go outside. Get some really quick. Ah, oh, come on. Yeah, baby. And that should do the trick. Come on. Get the candle berry seed. I don't know. I just, I just generally have a something that resonates within me when it comes to candle berries. Anyway. Oh yeah, and we need a bunch of bone meal probably as well. So let's just uh, go and rush some of that right now. Yeah. And increase the spread. Well, we could use the phytogenic in here, but I don't want to use the phytogrow. So I'm just going to use the bomey instead. So uh, let's start m actually making the fields. So I th I'm thinking I'm either like going all out by 50 by 15, but that's not actually necessary. Uh, you actually don't need like a really big one, so I'm, I think I'm just gonna make a nine by nine. And if it's not enough, I'm gonna I can still increase it, so it's not a big deal. There we go. Let's mine out this. Uh, this needs some lighting actually. There we go. Uh, in here, you're not gonna be seeing this a whole lot, but just so you can see the setup for once in a while, and then you can repeat it. You know. Again, one of those things that I could have done at the very, very start of, like, mid-game, but, meh. You know. Different approaches are also fun. And it throws in some problems that I never actually had before, which is actually RF production. <laughs> Usually that's never an issue, because you can just spam uh, big reactors, cryothium flux ducts, and UMG. Put a draconic core in there. And voila. Alright, so uh, what we need. So a field uh, filled with candle berries, obviously. That is thing number one. Uh, the bone meal should be done by now. Let's go check it out. Uh, if I can find my way up. Hello. There you go. Bit of bone meal. That's gonna help here in a sec. Yeah, and we just spam this on the good old candle berries. Uh, we need like a stack or something like that. I should eat something really quick. Uh, don't mind me. Don't mind me. Let's just start planting a couple already. Go. And, well, actually, it, candle berries are a decent uh, seed because it uh, increases the amount of uh, plant matter that we get from crushing the candle berries, which we're going to be using to get ethylene, so, yeah. Alright, and I think I'm going to need, actually, a, a speed upgrade for, for mechanism machines. Because I don't think a electrolytic separator can uh, do this this thing on its own. Uh, right. Like I said, this is uh well I didn't say this, but <laughs> now I'm gonna. It's like a uh, oh I actually haven't eaten candle berry yet, huh? So I needed those anyway. It's an RF cycle, obviously, and it's, yeah, do you wanna see in what time? So I. This doesn't have auto input, right? These machines they have auto output, but not auto input. So, hold on. Uh, do I put a draw here? I think 
I should maybe put a draw there. I don't know. Okay. Uh, put this close to our actual machines. That would be good. Okay, put one right here. Uh, this torch will have to go up here. Here's the crusher. I could make turn this into a crushing factory, maybe. I don't know. Uh, the thought would be enticing, but I don't think that's necessarily really. Um, then, this goes into the pressurized reaction chamber. So, it would be like right uh, here. Okay? Right? Yeah. And we need the electrolytic separator. Um, like right here. I hope this is the right output. And we're just gonna... I think we need water for multiple things. I think... Do we need water for multiple machines down here? I'm not actually sure. Um, I'm gonna put it like this on here anyway, for now. We'll see. Uh, I need water. Water. Ah. There we go. Get the water. Get the water! And put this here, put that there. There. And there. Oh, there you go. It's already starting to separate. Uh, hydrogen goes there, oxygen goes there. Okay, it needs to be the other way around. <laughs> There we go. There we go. So what this electrolytic separator does is it takes water and splits the water into hydrogen and oxygen. Oxygen is uh, just practically a byproduct of this reactor, but oxygen can also be used to uh, triple the out uh, or output in a don't let me lie. It's not a chemical injector. It's like a it's something. It's, it's a machine that I don't know the name of anymore. Anyway, um, actually, uh, I just realized something bad, um, uh, I need to put this right. Yeah, because I don't want to use that, uh, I, I need to make universal, like, gas ducts to make these, and they're kind of annoying to, whip. Uh, that's the gas burner, don't, don't do, don't use the gas burner right now. There you go, um. The output will be right there, so hydrogen goes in there. And scratching my nose here. Um, ethylene goes into up here, into the gas burner, and then it will go into the. Into this. Yeah. Uh, that's right. That's right. There you go. Uh, almost done. Now we just need to configure the outputs really quick. So this is the front, so front is input, site is output, auto eject on. Um, then over here we are going to put the... Does the PRC also need water? Just a question. Uh, I think the PRC also needs water. Yeah, that's what I was thinking of. The PRC needs water, right? Yeah, I knew it. Okay, so I'll just have to put it one down really quick. And... Okay, that's actually kind of weird. Uh, hold on. Does it still collect water if I put it right here? It doesn't because there's no, like, proper source box. Okay, let's, let me get this really quick. Put it down here. There we go. Now you should be collecting water again. Beautiful. Put the hardened fluid ducts down here. Now both will be filled with water. This not this one not right now because the fluid input needs to be here. And now it's being filled with water. Um, the item input. Uh, yeah, this is the item input. Needs to be here. And... Uh, the item output needs to be there. Uh, gases uh, output it should be up and input back. Auto eject on. And I think this is set up. Yep, the hydrogen is down here. Uh, for, as for the tank, uh, gases input here, output there, auto eject on. 
And that should be almost all, right? Uh, now we just need to power these things. So let's get some flux ducts going. Uh, this goes here, that there, that there. And uh, how am I gonna... Ouch, clipped into the ceiling there for a second. Uh, how am I gonna do this? I'm gonna have to do this really awkwardly. Like, uh, this. Like it goes over here. <laughs> oh god. Alright, so everything's set here now. I need item ducts. I don't have any item ducts on me. I always have item ducts on me. What am I? I'm a fraud. So, let's get the item duct. A servo. Uh, we do not have a servo. We don't have any iron plates either, I'm guessing. For this. Ooh, who would have thought? That's it. <laughs> An entire stack iron goes in here right now. And then we are... I think we're done. I, I don't think I forgot anything there. We also need a trash can, actually. Uh, do we have a trash can? No, let's make a trash can. Because we also get another item output. That we don't necessarily need. Alright, uh, iron plates. Yeah, we got them. Let's make a servo. Boop. In my recent, like, automations, I've tried using as little servos as possible. As to not, like, waste red alloy on almost all the things. So I've been, like, looking into auto-ejects and stuff like that. Um, I don't know, it goes here. This goes there. Naval. And everything's working. So this goes... So the candleberries now are going to get pulled into here. Which I realized probably doesn't have the right input on. Wait, which direction is this? This is here, 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 here. Okay, I, I got the right side now, I think. Uh, I gotta figure this out. So, the crusher is turning those candle berries into... I'm, I'm gonna eat one real quick. Um, into biofuel. And the biofuel is supposed to go in here. I, I just kind of forgot the which side this crusher is currently on. So I'm gonna replace it. Yeah, there we go. Uh, output is right here. So, and then the biofuel gets combined with the hydrogen from the electrolytic separator and the water into substrate, but most importantly, ethylene, which is being processed by the gas burning generator. And the gas burning generator uh, produces a lot of RF. Like, right now it's producing a thousand RF. And the more it needs to... The RF, the gas burning generator is pretty smart. If it realizes that there is a lot like energy missing it will increase its burning rate so right now it's at five and it's going up right now and it usually caps at 4k i think um i right now i still need to in order to make this actually work i think i need to give the electrolytic separator a um speed up pretty much um but as long as this is being powered and also the beans are actually coming in handy right now and the water melts because it's giving it like an external power source so this is fully working right now um there we go yeah it's going down right now uh obviously uh it's gonna be a bit of a pain right now to keep these up i'm actually gonna uh disable the miner right now just so we can up the RF and obviously our energy cell is still trying to fill up so right now it's just producing way too much as it should be but basically once this buffer has filled up it's gonna pretty much just always keep on pushing RF as much as it needs to and this is why this is actually pretty good in the long run but for now it'll take a long while and I should definitely get a speed upgrade for this thing because uh, the elect electrolytic separator is the slowest one actually do I not even I, I think I did, I did I put like ever a speed upgrade in any of these because I would like to steal that one if by chance oh we actually did have a crusher up here huh and by the way this is it the purification chamber uh, we can use this to uh, increase our ore output really quick. I should probably set this up down here as well. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna do something with that. Uh, I guess we don't have any uh, mechan mechanism speed upgrades. Let's eat this candleberry. 
Um, mechanism speed upgrade, and you have to always, uh, don't get these two confused. This is nuclear craft, this is mechanism, you're looking for this one. Uh, we need gold blades, there we go. <laughs> gold blades, uh, crystalline, enriched alloy, microchip, plastic. Uh, we have one plus microchip remaining, that's lucky. Uh, what else? What else? What else? The, well, we don't have any more alloy, right? We wasted all our alloy, so let's make like four more. Four more alloy should do the trick. I was like making a bit more than I actually need because, well, you need so much of them. That can't hurt to have more intended. Anyway, uh, get this, put this away, 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 uh, put this in here. I don't know, put that in there for now. And I'm gonna boost this as well, just because why not? Now oh, we actually do have some gold plates in here, and some microchips actually, okay, that makes things easier. Um, uh, what was I supposed to do? I right, get plastic. Plastic! Yep, turn this into dry rubber, smelt it. There we go, just enough. And actually, let me just throw in another jungle wood so we can already produce more plastic. Since apparently we're needing it right now. Alright, get this out of here, in here. And uh, now all we need is the, the alloy, really quick. In here. Anyway. I am going to now just do the following. I'm gonna put this in here. All right, uh, the in the into the electrolytic except. Oh yeah, right. Uh, you need to put this on dumping excess if you are not using like the oxygen for anything because the electrolytic separator will stop eventually. Anyway, I'm gonna throw in a speed upgrade right now. Uh, in here, so it'll increase its production rate. And I th think maybe one in here. I th like I th I'm pretty sure the. Hold on. This farm going well. I don't know. I'm, I might need more, but for now, this should be okay. Oh yeah, and I also well, I kind of messed this up. So now I need to put the item output front where there is the trash can, and there we go. Now, now this should work. The subtract should get emptied out any second now. Oh yeah, auto eject on. There you go. And now, there you go. Good work. Uh, I'm gonna just like just keep on watching this. I might have to increase the canterbury. Maybe put a sprinkler on there so it grows faster. Um, and I'll see you when this actually buffs. And I I need to check which uh, which which machine really needs a speed upgrade. So BRB. All right. So since the canterbury farm is going a bit slow, I'm actually gonna make a sprinkler. Not the sprinkler that we're using outside, but actually the better sprinkler, which I didn't even know that existed. And that is the cyclic sprinkler. Spring sprinkler or sprinkler. Um, we need some bar bars. There you go, some hot bars. Um, we should have the master assembler for this. Uh, bone blocks, blocks made out of bone. And uh, what else? Silicon, gold, iron rods. Should have that right. Iron rods. Let's need more. Uh, and silicon. Yeah, no, no big deal. Gold plates, we have that in the carpenter. And that is pretty much all. Let's just make these iron bars really quick. Make those. Damn. These are actually so cheap. And they're also so what makes these better is that the fact that they don't actually need a continuous water source, you ju they just need a single water block underneath them and, and they will work. So that is why these are pretty good. And since this is just some regular old crops that we're watering, this, this sprinkler will go into effect much sooner. Uh, there we go. Let's go down here. Pick out those sticks that I left in there. And, oh yeah, bone blocks. Bone blocks and more bars. Alright. So those in there. Sure. And bars. There we go. Uh, like this. Woohoo. Um, there we go. Get 
get four of these. And take out the bars. Come on. Hurry up. And let's make some more iron rods. Some more. Now we numb on our delicious candle beer. Uh, I'm thinking also about like increasing the size maybe. So 9 by 9 is really tiny. Uh, just by like, what's the next step? It's 11 by 11. Yeah, we can do that. Let's just quickly expand it by one. So we can have a good farm. Better farm. I kind of want to keep these as tiny as possible because I don't want to like have everything in the basement, you know. It's always, always so eh when you can't actually see what's going on. Well, to be fair, there's a lot going on always in my house, but you just never actually see it because it's cut away. Hoo hoo. Um. There you go. Tear down the wall. Tear down the wall. Just like in good old Berlin. Uh, what? Here we go. Uh, let's just get all the soil in here. Get some more candle berries. And we are G. Let me tell you, we are G. Look at us go. Look at us go. And then, we have ourselves a pretty energy farm. Because since we're going to start more and more automations now, we are also going to need a lot more RF. And well, things just kind of have to be this way. We have to spend up an entire episode just doing this and not actually going anywhere. But hey, this it'll help me get somewhere eventually. And I put too much redstone in there, it would seem. So I'm just going to put some more steel in there if that's... Else. I don't know where I'm going with the sentence. Uh, soil. That is what I was getting. Soil. Oh wait, I still have soil. And I still have bars. Okay. Not bars, rods. Put this in here, get the sprinkler finally. There we go. Take all of this with me. Uh, not the... I, yeah, I, I, I always know that I'm gonna pick something up here. And look, that was even an achievement. I didn't know it existed, yet it was an achievement right there in front of my eyes. Tie moment, tie moment. Uh, hold on, wand. We have a wand. We have computers. We can use them. There you go. And hey, we actually had enough soil for once. Okay, block this off. I don't want any troll skeletons running around here in this place. Um. And let's just get a bunch of cattleberries really quick. Yeah, there we go. Place them. Oh yeah, and we need to put a water source here in the middle. Not because the soil needs it or anything, but because the sprinkler needs it. I just had a water cell. Where did it go? Oh, wait. Sprinkler. <laughs> I forgot. I forgot. Anyway, put this there. Uh, God damn it. Put this there. Don't actually touch that. That thing does damage when you when you walk into it or well stand on top of it for some reason. I'm not sure if it's because you glitch inside the block or this thing is actually supposed to do damage. But hey, look at it go. It it sprinkles water everywhere and makes things go fast. Anyway, what's the burner doing? Nothing. <laughs> Guess we still don't have enough biofuel. Well, worry not, folks. We're working on it. Um, I just need more bone meal right now. Uh, can you turn these fossils into bones? Yeah, you can. In a crusher, as a matter of fact. Hell yeah. Uh, there you go. Put that in there. Yeah, this is kind of slow. Speed it. Speed it up. This, does, this machine definitely does not need to be a sped up, I think. I can just turn this one to a factorizer version, which has basically just more operation slots. But, you know, this is for now. Let's just go with this. We can't uh, put speed upgrades in the gas burner, sadly. But, you know, oh. Oh, hold on. 
Oh, it fixed itself. Okay, that's good. Oh, there we go. See? We're starting to get more and more candleberries now. It's good. Good. Hell yeah. More and more. Nice. Nice. Look at them. Now they're... Okay, this sprinkler definitely is a necessity. Oh, boy. Okay. Now, here we go. Rusher. Rusher put biofuel in PRC. Excess lean. Okay. You know what this needs? This needs, like, a skeleton bow. Put up some, like, really cool graphics. Yeah. Again, explain in detail exactly what's happening here. Go do it! Oh, so we're really reviving this dead horse, are we, huh? Remember when I used to make these? Yeah, me neither. Okay, if I wasn't lazy with the edits, I, I, I'm pretty sure that just happened. Anyway. And it's working, look at that, the ethylene is steadily increasing. The burn rate is currently zero because we're not using any much, any, well, not that many. Uh, let's put on the laser again, right here. And then it should actually start burning again. Burn rate 14, what? Come on, it's only 600 RF. Excuse me? Oh well. I don't know what that was. Anyway. Seems to be working now. Working fine. Problem is this actually needs a buffer and... I, I've been thinking, I'm gonna move this buffer down. Like... This buffer right here does not belong here anymore. Um, in fact, I'm gonna exchange it after the laser, so right here, uh, right here, yeah, there we go, put this away, oh my god, it's gonna cut off our power supply here for a short while, put that there, it looked pretty there because it covered up the floor, but over here, it's much better, it is just much better, so... Put that there, there, oh wait, other way, uh, red there, red there, blue there. It's hard to tell which side is which when it's seen that you've upgrade. There we go. Now, our beautiful fusion reactor probably won't run out of power anytime soon, whenever we try to do something in there. What a, look at this go, look at this biofuel go. Ah oh, man, this feels actually pretty good. I I should have done this a while ago. Well, I... It's not like I knew how to do this but at that point of time. I learned this in my multiplayer walkthrough. Oh damn, we actually have three of them, so holy crap. I mean, that's actually a pretty good power. Oh. But yeah, pretty much, we can now pretty much power anything we want. The ethylene is just gonna keep on going up. We're gonna have a pretty big buffer here too. So if we ever need, like, a lot, a lot, then this is gonna ha uh, handle just fine. Anyway, our next mission probably for today, I've been recording for an hour now, um, would be upgrading this piece of crap and uh, maybe, I don't know, go to space finally. <laughs> that would be cool. We need to work on our quest line as a matter of fact, because we have done nothing this episode on the actual quest line, except for, you know, making a sprinkler. Ooh, cool. Okay, popping this in here. We now actually have quite a lot of RF, believe it or not. Combined with this right here, which is still working by the way, it's still doing like, Oh, it's actually like 900 RF, I thought it was 500. Yeah, combined with this, that, and everything around here, I'd say we've got ourselves a pretty good power source now. So good that I'm, not, that I'm gonna start using this thing more and more. Um, other things that I might need to do is definitely increase the... Yeah, this is a normal energy input hedge right now. Uh, what do we need for a bigger energy input hedge? Because we're gonna need like at least a big one eventually. Uh, triple batteries. Uh, I'll, I'll spare me those for now. Obviously we could always just like once everything is done, like once we have like a lot of materials, I'm just gonna replace all of this with just 
uh, big reactor turbines. Um, I don't actually know a good way of like wirelessly doing things on a long range with RF. I know like draconic energy crystals and such, they are obviously the best thing to put inside a base, but like cross dimension is always such a problem. Uh, whatever. Boop. Repair the boots, repair the legs, or anything. And there we go. So for now, let's take a look at our seeds, first of all. How did they grow so far? Uh, pretty good. I actually need to do this. Uh, hold on. Do I have an item? Yeah. Do this really quick. So it doesn't overproduce. How much fighter grows is on here? A lot. And we, we're just getting more and more coal essence. More and more and more. There we go. Plop all of this in here. Uh, and just spam our inventory. Full of it. Put it back in. There are coal blocks. And this is just gonna keep on going up. Wait, is this? Yeah, there you thought it was coal blocks, not obsidian. Um, do we still have someone here? Yeah, we do. Uh, this is basically... Well... It depends on how much Terra Steel we're gonna have by the end of when I get to Mars. I might not even have to do my automation thing, but I probably still have to. Um, that's a full one. Need to do Terra Stealing it again. You know, just doing some housework on cording, not actually cutting this out this time around, just so you can see what I do every time I do anything at all. Feel free to skip this part. <laughs> Uh, I need to go check how much Terra Steel do I actually have by now. How much I actually have. Especially what do I have to do next on the four line right now. Ryothium, the ultimate grafting table, which takes a Terra Steel block. Um, oxygen sealer, I guess I can do this one. This isn't too hard, as a matter of fact. Um, and this entire line up here also is kind of problematic later down the road because we need so much compressed materials now for the spacesuit. Uh hold on, Terra Steel goes in here, right? Yeah, we have it's some like one more Terra Steel. Wait, do we have a Terra Steel here? Yeah we actually do Oh we do actually have enough uh, Terra Steel for a block. So you know what? To end off well I don't actually know how much I record. I think I record like thirty minutes of total material right now. Um to end off, I think we can just make this new table, right? Do we have your Dean? We do have your Dean. Nice. Okay, uh, turn this into a block really quick. There we go. And let's make the uh, ultimate crafting table, which is not the ultimate crafting table, as a matter of fact. That that award goes to over to our... Okay, what do we need even? We need um, one of these. Okay, that's not really difficult. Uh, okay, damn it. <laughs> Uh, we need a bunch of these tables again. Great. Just perfect. We need an Iridium gear. Imbued slate. Ugh, okay, that's disgusting. I don't like that. I don't like that at all. Um, I need these things into my favorite thing, Magic. Uh, Droxum, Yodin, Osram. That's not too difficult, but I need these tables. I need these tails. Let's erase some stuff that I don't need anymore. There we go. And yeah, this imputed slate is kind of annoying. Uh, we have a bunch of plank slate blocks that turn into reinforced because I think this is. Uh, yeah, the third one. Uh, how expensive is imputed? Just a question, you know, to ask. Imputed is two Endarium coins. Uh, how much coins do we have? We actually do have two Endarium coins. That's oh, screwed. I'm not gonna make these. You can kiss my ass. <laughs> there we go. Imputed Slate. And that's one of the blocks done. It's really smoothly done. There we go. Make one of these. Make this happen. Ultimate Catalyst. Uh, now we need to make a bunch of these. So four of those, so a bunch of crafting tables. 
Yeah, I think it need 12 for total. Uh, we need more wood. For that and the sawmill. Uh, we need exchanger tokens, a bunch. Oh, give me the wood. And just like, uh, I forgot how much crafting tables we have in here. Uh, let's just make some. So we need four. Four of these. Um, we need a bunch of those. How much? Uh, we don't have any produced here, I'm guessing. Oh, we have one. Okay, so that's one gear done. Uh, I need iron. There we go. Uh, ingot. Oh god, we have way too many ingots. <laughs> Uh, let's just make some. Let's just start up from the base again. So that's four base ingots, four inferium. Uh, let's make some with our master. Uh, not infusion crystal. Where's our fusion? Uh, where is it? Where's our master fusion? Is it not? Huh? Where did our master fusion go? In here? Oh, there it is. Okay. Not sure what it's doing in there, but sure. If, uh, we need more. Oh, we do actually have some in here. Okay. That makes things easier. Come on. There we go. Just enough for another gear. And that is it. Uh, we need an iridium gear also. So, hold on. I didn't favor the ultimate drafting table. <laughs> Idiot. Uh, there we go. Iridium gear. Do we have enough iridium for this? We have no iridium. Oh, great. Uh, which means we need uh, majestic. We don't have any majestic lying around. Just casually, right? <laughs> of course you wouldn't. Of course we wouldn't. But that's okay. Um, and let's focus on something else for now. Uh, Joxum. Osram. And there we go. Let's make them uh, Iridium really quick. Let's just go down this row. There we go. There we go. There, there. One. Uh... Two. Oh, come on. What is missing? Mana. Mana infused. Polarize this down, please. For more. And I just realized, I think we can actually uh, use the centrifugal separator now. Oh, wait. Oh, okay. That's not enough. <laughs> Sadly. Um... Yeah, we can use this to get mana powder easy. We don't have to use it in the thing magic mana fuel. Uh, there's some essence in here, though. Uh, make a wood tank really quick. Wood tank. There we go. Do this. Get it out of here. Uh, yep. Put that in there. Oh god, this thing is slow. Um, okay, maybe that's the downside of it, but it gives us a chance to get some other neat stuff like illumination powder and things like that, which we need, so I hope we actually do get one. And we get Xenon from this too. Uh, actually, hold on. We need five more for a quest. Um, do I quickly hop over into the... Wait. No, that's Man of Steel. Uh, let me quickly just hop over into, like, the Twilight. And let me look for some more mana infused. So I can get this quest done. Uh, because this is actually one that would teach you how to get more mana in uh, white magic. Through the power of Xenon! Which I actually never use, as a matter of fact. And I've been using that word quite a lot. Okay, believe me, I know what I'm talking about here. Uh, let me get the... Do not have the assembly halo with me? Ugh. Disgusting. Disgusting! 
Okay. Find mana infused. It can't be this hard, right? Die cut to when I found mana infused, please. Okay, okay, so I, I found two mana infused, and this is actually a good chance to show you um, how to triple um, ore output with like our gas thingamajig. So I got a bunch of ores that I'm gonna throw in here really quick. Uh, there we go. Don't need any of this stuff, it's all useless. Useless, I tell you. Uh, throw this all into the ME, I don't care. I stopped caring a long time ago. Uh, there we go. Uh, throw this, by the way, in here. So what we need is our trustworthy mecha me mechanism machines that we've been keeping around forever. And this energized smelter for some reason. Alright. So, I need to... Hold on. There we go. Uh... Put things in here. So first of all, uh, purification chamber, number one. Fill this up with oxygen. Uh, then put a rusher right here, and then an energized or any furnace. Really, I'm just going to use this for whatever's sake, for beauty's sake. Okay, put this here so they connect. Uh, I need a flux stuff. No, help. <laughs> flux stuck. And your flux stuck. Help. <laughs> help. Uh, flux. No, not flux. Flux stuck. Do I not have a flux stuck, really? Really? You're telling me that? I do not have a flux stuck left anywhere at all. Sigh of disappointment. I'm just gonna... No, wait, I can't see this. <laughs> uh, this is necessary. Damn, can't see anything. Um, guess I'll just have to make more flux stuck, huh? God damn it! <laughs> anyway, so this in there. Flux stuck. These ones. There we go. Red alloy in here. There we go. Oh, yeah, electron plates. Not. Yeah. Four electron plates. Put them in there. And the still, machinery still works despite uh, being cut off from the reactors. It's good that I kept the rest. And there we go. Pop this in here really quick. And there we go. Get some flux sucks. Flux sucks. It's a really fun word to say. That's for sure. Okay, get this. Hold on, I'm gonna move my microphone. There we go. So I don't have to deal with my clicking that loud. Or maybe you do. I don't know. I can never tell when my mouse is in the right position. There we go. Okay. So, uh, this purification chamber. We made this like ages ago. But if you throw in an ore in here. I, not every ore can do this, I think, but most of them. It'll use the oxygen to create, hold on, there you go, mithril clumps. Now, you can't cook these, you have to actually crush them. And hold on, let me just quickly put auto-eject on. So it goes in here, um, input is here, auto-eject on, and then it'll be crushed into, uh, I think... Dust or dirty dust? Oh yeah, hold on. Yeah, you need the enrichment chamber also. Um, I don't think we have another enrichment chamber, so I'm just gonna have to use the enrichment chamber just have, that I have up there for now. This one right here. Uh, I'll make another one. To replace this one. Um, didn't I, by the way? No, okay. For a second I thought I had another enrichment chamber. Um... There you go, I'll put it right here for now. And then put this output, output, auto eject. And then over here, input. And uh, I don't have a chest or anything right now, but basically. Oh, 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 wait, no, wait, wait. That's uh, not actually. 
uh, smelt anything right now because I still need the dust. But as you can see, we effectively just tripled our all output. You can then um, times four it with a chemical injection chamber and then quintuple it with a... I forgot what it's called, but it's like this entire slurry process, of course, which I never actually do. I don't think that's actually worth it. I think this is worth it, but I don't think like quintuple, quintupling an ore is worth it because at that point, you pretty much just... You're working with um, high mining lasers that'll produce so fast that having them run through all of this is kind of a waste of time, honestly. And instead, I'll just use, like, multiple resonant ones and maybe later out, like, elite to crusher factories, basically. Anyways, we got this quest done now. Thank God we got some more mana infused. And, oh, yeah, that, that's... Yeah. <laughs> Stuff. Um, so we put also some Xenon in here. How much Xenon do we need? A bunch. Okay, sure. We'll just throw in everything we have anyway. So we can get our stuff going here. Uh, in the meantime, I'll just make uh, the actual white magic dust. Hold on. There we go. Uh, we need one more, actually. Thank you. There we go. And then we fuse this together in here, right? No, wait, not here. Yeah, just in here. Put that in, and then we get this majestic dust, and then we can make more iridium. Do we even have any more thermoconducting alloys? We have two. Uh, do we have uh, arsenite, boron? Oh, we don't. Uh, extreme. Okay, we have a bunch of extreme alloys, and do we have any more? Hold on. Let's check the stuff really quick here. Uh, that's Molten Boron, Molten Arsenic. Oh, right, there's Nitrite in here. Um, we don't need this. And we certainly don't need Magma anymore, I don't think, at least. Okay, wait, so how did this go? I've kind of forgot. <laughs> I may or may not have kind of forgot. Oh, wait, we still have Boron Arsenite in there. Okay, never mind, we have enough Boron Arsenite. Um, put this in there really quick. So actually we can use one in here, in the centrifugal separator. Because we have like... Because we get like 100? No, 50. Okay, we can't. Okay, never mind. Never mind! Uh, where's our magma crucible? Oh, there's a lot of stuff in here actually, so... Uh, crystalline... Use this copper tank. Alrighty. Then let's just throw this into the fluid infuser really quick. Uh, Cerebral conducting alloy. Um, and what else? Hold on, I think alloy furnace this with this. Or can you use... Oh, you can use the... You can use this. So we can make things more effective now with this piece of crap. And it's actually gonna work now, right? Yeah. And if we look at this... Look, it's not even being touched right now. It's that good. Like, all the rest is going down. Like, it's buffering down here, and this thing is going up. Yeah. This scheme is just gonna tank all of this. Yeah, you heard me right. It's gonna tank hard. There you go. <laughs> Throw this in here. Get the iridium ingots from it. There. Pull this up too. Sure, why not? Uh, check out Oxidon is done. That's another quest complete. Get some sodium hydroxide, that's cool. Liquid Xenon. Melted, right? No. Uh, damn. Well, let's run that. Wait, there's what? No! No! What have I done? I'll just have to turn into water cells. Uh, hold on. I need to replace this so it doesn't fill up with water. There we go. Uh, sodium hydroxide in there. Put this in there. 
and we can make molten, not molten xenon, just like regular molten fluid xenon, yeah. And hey, then we did some progress over here, I guess. <laughs> not into the right direction necessarily, but, um, you know. Some side quests that'll usually help you out. I never actually do that um, alternative method of getting that uh, majestic dust or the essence. I just kind of do whatever. Iridium gear. So what, what else do we need right now? Uh, hold on. There we go. I think just the tables are left here. Yeah, just the tables. So let's see. Uh, alloy. Hey, let's just do something here, right? Yeah. See, it all, it's all coming together right now. Isn't that just great? Ender pearls? are you kidding me? Are you absolutely kidding me? Wait, 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 wait. You can just do this, right? You can get resonant ender, and then you can... This, is... this process is taking too long, but I do have a pan in here, right? Yeah, pan cast. I can just throw in some resonant ender, right? Like this? Yeah. Okay, then I can put it on here. See? See, it's working. Just as intended. What else is missing? Oh, mana steel. Mana steel! Oh wait, I have the mana steel on me right now. As... Some would say. Not saying it again. Screw you. Uh, okay, I need more sodium hydroxide. Uh, I wish I had more sodium hydroxide. Oh, there's more sodium hydroxide. Put some more sodium hydroxide in there. That's not gonna be enough sodium hydroxide, but maybe if I say more sodium hydroxide, I'll have enough sodium hydroxide. Alright, uh, mana steel in here. Does this, and there we go. Elite crafting table, and here we go. Ultimate crafting table. The ultimatist. Look at this, it even lags the entire game whenever you try to open it. That's how good this thing is. There we go. Uh, and I'll just completely take this quest right here. Whew. Okay. I think this is where I'm going to call it today for this episode. We made a new crafting table. Hooray. We made a new energy source. Hooray. And now, finally... We can start on the main quest line again. This entire section up here, that's going to be like another two episodes. Or at least a lot of grinding, as a matter. A lot of grinding. That's for sure. Because I did this on the multiplayer server, and I kind of forgot how absolutely terrible this is. Also, by the way, I forgot I actually had seen on here. So maybe... Wait, hold on. Before this episode ends, can I? Can I complete another quest? No, no, come on. Uh, is there any more in here? We need one more sword. <gasps> Look how close we are. Look how close we are. Oh, well, whatever. I uh, thank you. Oh my god, we actually do have sodium hydroxide. Okay, never mind. Never mind. We can do this. We can do this. I I'll finish this one. There we go. Um, give me the tank. Put it in the tank. Put it in the cell. There we go. Woohoo! There we go. Look at us go. Now it's an episode. Now it's an episode. And, oh, whoa. Um, I guess now for real this time around. Uh, um, thank you so much for watching this episode of Dungeons, Dragons, and Space Channels. My name is Ty, and I still is Ty, and whatever, and so much. Uh, and I'll see you next time when we uh, maybe build a spacesuit. Hey.